So for this example, we want to graph the plane curve defined by the equations x equals t squared plus 1, y equals 3t, and t is from negative 2 to 2. So here, as we said, we have that x as some function of t, y as some other function of t. I suppose it can be the same, but it wouldn't be very interesting if x and y followed the same function for our parameter. And we also have some set of values that we're looking at for t, where when we're talking about how we're going to graph this, again, we can start with the easiest ones. And in this case, I would say the easiest ones are the points t equals negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Like I said, you pick the most obvious candidates, it's often good enough. And to describe these from there, we're going to see what happens in terms of our parameter and the effect it has on each of x and y as a result. So when t is equal to negative 2, we have for x negative 2 squared plus 1, which is going to be 4 plus 1, or 5. Then we have 3 times negative 2, or 6, for the point 5, negative 6. At t equals negative 1, we have negative 1 squared plus 1, or 2, and 3 times negative 1, or negative 3, for the point 2, negative 3. At 0, we have 0 squared plus 1, 1 and 3 times 0, or 0, for the point 1, 0. At 1, we get 1 squared plus 1, or 2, and 3 times 1, or 3. And then finally, at 2, we have 2 squared plus 1, which is 4 plus 1 equals 5, and then 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So we get the point 5, 6. And once we have this collection of points, we can then talk about turning that into a graph. We have to be careful when we're taking this graph that we notate the direction our point is moving. That again, we're talking about this in terms of change in the parameter as far as getting that subtlety for what happens. Because you know, if you just talk about these as a simple equation x and y, you would miss that part about how the point moves. That it is going from the point 5, negative 6, all the way around to the point 5, positive 6, at t equals 2. So it's important to be mindful and careful about what's going on in terms of that motion. And next, though, we're going to talk about how we can see these things, see these relationships in terms of just the x and y relationship that's sort of hidden beneath the surface with a process called eliminating the parameter.